Mansplaining, if you're not aware, it's when a man tries to explain what you already know in a patronising manner. <laughs> it's when a man, that's me, <laughs> tries to put clever, clever thoughts into your pretty little brain. <laughs> It's official. New Zealand loves Jimmy Carr. In fact, we love him so much, he's just announced two new shows, on top of the 22 that have already sold out. I was by the seaside recently, and I was thinking about rising sea levels. And this guy next to me was throwing stones into the water. I thought, well, that's not helping. <laughs> he's a fan of us, too. In particular, our outgoing Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern. It's very nice to be interviewed by the Prime Minister. Yeah. This doesn't happen everywhere. Yeah. It's, just, it's lovely, lovely New Zealand that I'm, your Prime Minister's got a second I'm job. I'm definitely not going to <laughs> I love you. You're like the opposite of Trump. I mean... I don't want to... I don't want to be that guy, but you said I needed no introduction and then there was quite a long introduction. <laughs> I where's the, sorry, I, I don't want to... Yeah. I, I recognise all of you, but where's the new Prime Minister? I'm used to the Prime Minister turning up in... Well, here, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm no, I'm pretty sure it's a ginger guy, but it gets, <laughs> yeah. it's not like the UK where there's a new Prime Minister every 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's going to stay a while, is he? Well, we'll see, <laughs> till October at least. Interesting time for you to be in New Zealand, because not a lot of other news stories around at the moment here. Anything caught your eye? What, what other than the, the, your, your Prime Minister leaving? Yeah. No, that is the big one, yeah. It's the only Correct. one. She's just gone, yeah, I've, I've had enough, I'm off. Is yeah. she going to go back to DJing? Is that the plan? <laughs> is she going to Ibiza and Ayanapa? Mm. <laughs> we'll make Maybe. sure we get her itinerary after this and yeah. pass it on to you. Yeah, we're, we're, I hope she's all right. She's very admired around the rest of the world. I think she's going to be OK. Mm. I yeah. hope the first thing she does is put her feet up and relax. Mm -hmm. um, you have done completely the opposite while you've been here in New Zealand. You've been so busy and you've taken a tiny little friend with you to almost every part of New Zealand. I think we've got some pictures um, of this little oh, Jimmy Tucker showing up. Uh, yeah, well, I can't be bothered to take photos of myself everywhere I go because <laughs> I'd look like a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a small... I saw the film Amelie and liked it and then, <laughs> and then thought I'll take a doll out. So I get to go to these, these incredible places. Yeah. Now, one of those has just come up now, actually, is, is New Plymouth, which you said was no better than Old Plymouth. Um, <laughs> and you just well, look, look, look at that, I saw the sight. <laughs> <laughs> They've got, a, they've got a ball on the end of a stick. It wouldn't, I'll be honest with you, it wouldn't distract my dog for five minutes. <laughs> now, that's, that's, it's incredible, really, how Stop New right there. is entirely untouched by anything to do. Stop right there, because uh, I'm actually born and bred in New Plymouth. And, oh. you, and, and you stayed there, did you? <laughs> You live there now, do you? <laughs> it's oh, it's great. Like a good point. Are you commute in just to do the show? <laughs> or did you get out as soon as you could? <laughs> I got out as soon as I could. <laughs> well, it was lovely. I mean, the audience there was fantastic, and it, it was great. But I mean, it, like the audience wasn't. I think they'd made it compulsory to come and see the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like they had other options. Well, they did, <laughs> and I wanted to tell you that you missed out on our other site, which I it was just up the road actually, Pig Out Point. Mm. Uh, it's just down the road from McDonald's. Pig out point? Yeah, great place. Just like a, what they call the sort of the make out place. Great place to pig out. <laughs> Just eat, eat food. Yeah, and you get your takeaways and you go and sit in the car park. That's what he's promoting as the big attraction <laughs> of New Plymouth. Why did you leave? <laughs> Are we, are we unique in New Zealand in that we just love when you take the mickey out of us? We just love hearing that name. I don't think so. Mentioned. I think it's a very sort of uh, British sense of humour here. Yeah. It's like, I think it's much closer to sort of the British than the American sense of humour. And there's that sense of not being able to take a joke would be like the worst thing you <laughs> yeah, could say. That's true. Yeah, true. Like a Kiwi guy. So it's, it seems like... And it's with love. I mean, I, I could... I think a lot of people tour here and they do Auckland or maybe Auckland, Wellington, and then they think they've seen it all. Mm. And there's so much out there. It's, like, it's so diverse. There's so much going on. It's kind of great to get out kind of beyond that. Well, I'm from Palmerston North, and I'd be remiss if you didn't say... <laughs> See, anyone from Palmy watching is already happy. <laughs> that, move, that was it. That's enough. Palmerston North. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's well worth the four and a half minutes it takes to look around. <laughs> Jimmy, before you go tonight, we have been, well, finding it quite hard to make eye contact with Jesse. Mm. He's come back with something we've never seen before, this no. beard here. Uh, do you think you should keep it or lose it? Sorry, that beard? Mm. Yeah. And we're leaving this one alone, are we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is working out really well. I mean, I mean, it's fine. It just feels like, look, if you... 
look up to him and he's sort of a father figure to you. <laughs> <and> I, think, <laughs> I think it's a great idea that you sort of ape his look and try and... <laughs> are you going to wear the glasses next week? <laughs> you were not expecting to be the butt of that joke. <laughs> I think, I think oh, yeah. you were the butt of that joke. <laughs> Look, you can still get tickets. I don't mind the beard. I, I mean, yeah. I'm trying to picture you with a beard because you're so clean cut, it's kind of hard to imagine. Yes, it's, uh, it's a male grooming, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can still get tickets for Jimmy's tour. It's called Terribly Funny. He has shows in Auckland and Hawke's Bay that you can get to. Please thank Jimmy Carr. Yay. serious egg shortage in New Zealand. Ooh. But if you... I think I've got the solution. <laughs> I th I'm serious, I think I've got the solution. Oh, then. Uh, Christopher Luxon. We crack his head open, plenty to go <laughs> No, he's, he's basically... Christopher Luxon is New Zealand's Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> the way I see it. We will take a look We don't at some... need him till November. We will He'll take... grow back. <laughs> we will take a look at some other proposed solutions after the break. <laughs>